If you want to talk lookbook for the MAC Basic B palette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilan, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. This video is a request. It was a request from Julie, salut Julie, for a lookbook for the Basic B palette from MAC. And, uh, and I have it right here. And what I thought I would do is I would walk through the four looks. I think it's four looks, yes. Four looks uh, that I have done with this palette uh, since it has been declared as my companion pen palette for the uh, metal matte from KVD Vegan Beauty. The reason why it is a companion to the KVD Vegan Beauty is because my Smashbox matte exposure is almost done and you will see all of that as far as updates and whatnot in the next pen matte palette. Things are changing as far as which palette is my go-to to try to finish it up. Big changes for 2022 for sure, um, at least sometime in the end of the first quarter. Things are changing, things are changing. Okay, look, let's get to the video that is at hand, which is talking through a number of looks that I have created so far, a total of four. Um, I will cover this one last. It is the, um, the final of the four. So let's go right back to the beginning with the first look that I did end up doing with the palette, uh, which was um, drawing me to this burgundy. So I ended up using this burgundy on the center um, lid, uh, it, pardon me, crease, outer lid and center lid. Uh, on here and also the lower lash line and then I used the white on the inner two two-thirds of the lid and then the highlighter on the brow bone. So it was really these two and this color that I ended up using for that first look. I really enjoyed the burgundy with um, uh, kind of a balancing my green eyes. It was I thought it was a, a really nice uh, first shot at uh, using this palette um, in a way that felt really comfortable and approachable to me. And I like the way it looked, um, I like the way it turned out. Uh, let me know what you think. Second look, uh, we are talking about the deep gray. And this is the deep gray that I'm talking about. So this one uh, in the crease uh, on the outer lid and I ended up topping this one with the gray shimmer, this one. So this one ended up all over the lid over this one. Uh, and I also used the white on the brow bone. So this one, this one, and this one were the primary colors of that particular look. And then when it came to the third look, I wanted to go away from grays because I used gray with the burgundy and I used, um, I did pretty much a, an overall gray look for the second look. And I wanted to go into the taupe colors. So I ended up for the most part using these two colors for look number three. And I thought it, it uh, turned out to be a very natural look. So I used the deep taupe on the outer lid, outer crease, and lower lash line. And then I used the light taupe uh, on the um, inner to two thirds of the lid. And I used the highlighter on the brow bone. And it, it's a beautiful, natural, neutral look. And I thought it was, it would be an easy daily go-to look. And what, what made me a little bit sad though was that these two colors are, these two pans are so small, right? This is a, an easy use for an all, all over look. So is this one. I kind of wish this taupe had been a bigger pan. You don't always get what you want, but um, needless to say, I do think that these two are absolutely beautiful and they did create a very nice uh, look in my opinion, uh, along with a supporting role uh, from the highlighter on the brow bone. 
Now for the fourth look. This is the one that I am sporting today. And I went deep. I used the uh, black, the matte black on the outer, center to outer lid. And I've got a little bit of, it's not wearing super well on this side for some reason. But anyway, the um, uh, outer lid, outer crease to about halfway. Uh, and then on the inner, I ended up using the white, but on the inner to, um, I guess two thirds, not quite, inner to just past the half way mark, maybe two thirds. It does, it's not white. It, it's more like a, um, a grayish blue or a bluish gray. It's not um, monochromatic. It's not 100% monochromatic. And I thought I would mention it um, specifically. And I did use that same color, the white, on the brow bone. And because it doesn't have a black base to it, it is pretty much white. But when you have it on top, of a deep color, it turns kind of a silvery blue. I would not, I did not expect it to be so blue when I decided to do this fourth look. So it's just something to note with the white in this palette that when you lay it on top of a deeper matte that's in the palette, whether it would be this um, gray or this black or probably this one, it's going to change the nature of the color a little bit. So far, I have used every single color. that I did do um, a, a pure silver look with these two as well. I enjoyed that look as well. It's not one that I have captured on camera. But overall, um, as a cool toned palette, this is, a, this is a beautiful palette. And it makes me want to dig through my collection for more cool toned palettes because it is really, it's a nice, palette and over half of the shadows in here I'm very drawn to. Uh, the highlighter will go on for years. <laughs> it, it, there's a lot of usage available to this highlighter and I have gone into this palette just for the highlighter so obviously I like it. Um, what a discovery or rediscovery because it's been in my collection for a bit. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it and I only have a couple of MAC palettes. The other one uh, aside from this one that I'm not a big fan of. Um, I've had no trouble saying that on this channel. Uh, but this one is a winner. This one is a winner and it makes me think of my mom and makes me think of who gave it to me, who is uh, Lillian. And now of course it makes me think of Julie who um, made that request of getting a lookbook for um, some guidance and ideas uh, from this palette. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little walkthrough. It's not super complex, but it might give you some ideas uh, to play with uh, with this or another palette in your collection or set of palettes that would be even better. Let me know what you thought of this video. I am all ears and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.